All right, I'm excited to have Jose here, and this is Alicia Stringer here, and I do a lot of social media marketing, been uploading his videos for years, and it feels like I already kind of know you guys, so I'm excited to do a little quick interview with you guys. So, um, Jose, introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about Camp Bow Wow. Yeah, well, well, first of all, thank you for uh, taking the time to meet with me today. Um, my name is Jose Morillo, I'm the owner of uh, three uh, Camp Bow Wow franchises in the Houston area. Uh, we have the one in uh, Katy, the one in Cyprus, and the one in Kima. Uh, we've been doing this since about uh, 2015 is when we opened up our first camp in Katy, and we've just been having a blast ever since. So. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so we have the big question. We have to see your face on a lot of stuff as well as Jasmine. And so we want to know what is y'all's relationship? Are y'all family? Like what what is all going on with the presence of Camp Bow Wow with both of you guys? You know, I have been blessed uh, to be able to work with family. Jasmine is my daughter-in-law, married to my son. You know, we have uh, three beautiful granddaughters, uh, but Jasmine has been with me from from day one. Uh, and I've more than a few people have said this to me, and I couldn't agree more. Uh, they said we're like like a power team, and and we really are. I mean, I uh, I really couldn't do this uh, without her. She's my director of marketing and operations, as well as my daughter-in-law, and uh, it's worked out perfect. You know, because I I suppose in some instances that type of relationship might be a little difficult in business, but with her. She's she when it comes to Camp Bow Wow, she's all business and she's awesome. So I've been blessed. Yes, that's great. I've seen very few family businesses work really well together. And then some I'd be like, okay, I see why y'all are going separate ways and still try to keep some family, you know, um, working together. And so I, I've seen the different with different businesses and seeing partnerships around. So I really admire you guys, how you work, guys work together and able to keep that solid relationship business-wise and family. Um, I really honor that and really appreciate you guys having that good example. So um, go to them on knowing partnership and family to get some really great tips. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's been it's been it's been awesome. And you know, the cool part about the story is that she, uh, and she'll tell you this. This is no secret. When you know, when we first were thinking about using her, she, um, and we, I can't say we had the best relationship. Um, however, she did something very cool that you probably hear my dogs in the background. Uh, she does something. She does something very cool that I've used to always tell my uh, directors, I used to be the CEO of hospitals in Florida. And I used to always say this, I used to say, you know, leading a team is very much like being a parent. Sometimes, you know, uh, well, you got to praise your children a lot. So it's like, you know, just like you got to praise your team members a lot. Uh, but sometimes, you know, you got to kind of put them in the corner because they've been bad it, that that kind of relationship, you know, as a, as a parent. So one day, we take Jasmine uh, and the granddaughters to Disney World. And, and what was, uh, to me, anyway, just watching her a very stressful environment and watching her handle herself with her, with, with the granddaughters. And at the time, it was just to handle herself in, in the stressful situation of watching her. I remember thinking, I, I found the perfect person. This is it. So that's kind of how it all worked out. Uh, and it's been it's been the power team ever since. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. And, you know, when they can handle some of the stress and how they um, do with that, it's that's golden. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's oh, yeah. hard to find those moments and, and, and be able to. Especially in our environment. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so much going on <laughs> yeah. with all the dogs. So how, how have you always had dogs? In you know, I, yeah. Well, uh, you know, I had a, I had a dog when I was a young kid. I, I think I must've been about nine years old. Uh, Maybe probably younger. I'm sure it was younger uh, until I was about 14. Uh, and my, my, you know, little Chihuahua and my, my poor dog, you know, unfortunately died. Uh, not, not, a, not a great death, you know, uh, uh, when I was a kid. And I, and I and unfortunately got to observe that. And it shocked me. I mean, it shocked me so much that I could not have another dog until I was in my 50s <laughs> when, when we used to take care of a dog named Taco. 
a little chihuahua for some friends of ours. Uh, and those friends asked us if we would mind keeping him after taking care of him for so many times. I mean, we would take taco with us everywhere, hotels and things like that. Uh, and uh, we had a great time. So they asked if we would keep him. And I was like, yes, I would keep him. But it did take me that long from my teen years all the way to my 50s to, to, to work up enough courage, I guess, to have a dog again. And Taco kind of started it all for me. Taco was uh, 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 just, he still is. He turns 19 September 1st. I mean, he just, oh, this, dog's, wow. this dog's going strong. Uh, and uh, just a great boy. And he's really the one who inspired me in, in, uh, in getting involved in Camp Bow Wow. Uh, because and, and for selfish reasons, initially it was because my wife and I like to travel a lot. And we're like, well, we're going to need a place for the dog to stay. So uh, why not look at a Camp Bow Wow? Before that, we had looked at all kinds of business opportunities because I, I was in healthcare, like I said, and, and I was kind of right. ready to move on. And I had looked at right. all kinds of different opportunities. But when Camp Bow Wow came along, it was for selfish reasons because we had Taco and and we wanted to uh, a place to be able to at least keep him. And it turned out to be uh, just a perfect situation for us. That's great. I had a Chihuahua growing up as well. And, you know, the only reason why we were able to get a Chihuahua was because my sister was allergic and she had a lot of allergies, still has a lot of pet allergies, but that's the one dog she didn't really have much with. So finally I was like, I finally get to have a pet and, and it was a Chihuahua. We named her Sandy and um, lived throughout um, all growing up. I think my little baby um, sister took care of her, him, while, you know, her while I went to college and, and my mom and um, always liked Chihuahuas. So we have that heart too. like, take care of our little Chihuahuas. You know? yeah, yeah. I love, I love those little guys, you know, and I love all dogs really. And I, I tell people all the yeah. time, really, to, to be honest with you, the hardest part about owning a dog is the goodbye. That's the hardest part huh? because yeah. everything else about a dog is just wonderful. It really is. So. Yeah. That's very sweet. Thank you for sharing that. And um, do you think um, if that situation didn't come out of, you know, um, Taco, you know, wanting to gain your heart and thinking this would be a good business, um, what would, you know, what are the other things that you were looking into and how did you make that transition and from, you know, going from this medical world to um, leaving you know, that corporate situation to deciding this was um, it for you. Yeah, well, you know, I, I got into the corporate world. Uh, I was doing that for about ten years. Like I said, I'm CEO of uh, two hospitals in Florida, and worked my way through the through the administrative you know career track. And uh, I was I was looking for a way out. I was kind of out. It was you know it's it's tough. It's it's not for everybody. Uh, and uh, at the time, I decided it was it, I was looking. I needed something different in my life. So I started looking at different opportunities. My wife and I loved camping uh so we even looked at koa campgrounds and all kinds of different mm. things that we were looking at uh and then and then a uh, camp bow wow opened up near uh it's, it's funny because this is a bar that we used to hang out on uh, from the hospital the team would hang out on week on friday nights we'd hang out at this bar just to you know de-stress for the week and uh camp bow wow opened up about a, a block away from that place and at the time we got taco, like I'd mentioned earlier. So I was like, I need to go find out what that place is all about. And I went to go check it out. And there it was, fell in love with it. I went to check Ooh. out a couple of other places, loved them. And then went to uh, uh, the corporate headquarters in um, Broomfield, Colorado, near Denver, uh, and signed the paperwork and said, this is it. This is what I'm doing. <laughs> and, Did they choose your location? Out. Well, well, they've uh, they've always been out of Broomfield. They're just right next to Denver, you know. Uh, but uh, right now, there's uh, two hundred, I think, it's like two hundred fifty of us in the nation. But when I started, it was uh, I was number sixty. Uh, oh, so okay. uh, that's growing very fast. Growing very fast. Yeah. So how did you make from Florida to Texas? I uh, moved to exactly. moved to Texas because uh, for the simple reason that all of my wife's family lives here in Texas. Um, and I knew of Katie because uh, when, when I when I first started my administrative career track, or rather my career track in healthcare, uh, it was as a physical therapist. And I came here to Texas. I worked in Yoakum uh, back in '87, and uh, I helped move a buddy of mine from Yoakum or from Victoria, where we're living. We're working in Yoakum, but from Victoria, helped them move to Katie. So I knew of Katie 
that's it. That's all I knew of Katie. Uh, and and I just told my uh, the corporate headquarters of Camp Bow Wow, yeah, do you have a place in Katie? Uh, and they were, I, I could tell in their voice, very excited because at the time, Katie, and I had no idea, I wish I could tell you I was smart enough to know this, but at the time, Katie was the fastest growing market in the nation. Uh, so I, I got very lucky. You know, I came here because my wife's family was here and I happened to fall on one of the best markets in the nation. Yeah, perfect timing. That's exciting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I wish I could tell people I was smart enough to know that, but I, I wasn't. It was uh, somebody was watching Just, over me. <laughs> you're lucky. You see, you have luck uh, in your life. <laughs> so what is your vision with Camp Bow Wow? You know, uh, you know, in Camp Bow Wow, we say uh, one of our mottos is where a dog can be a dog. Uh, and, you know, dogs are pack animals by nature. They like to be together. They're social. They want to be together. So one of the beautiful things about Camp Bow Wow is that we set up an environment where we can do that. So from a vision standpoint, for me, it would be the making sure that, yes, I could do that for the dogs, that they can have a place where they can be dogs and can be social and can be within their pack, but that they can do it in a very safe environment. You know, that's my number one vision for all three camps. It's it's about having a safe environment for all of our dogs. And that's rings true. So, you know, you know we have a heart for dogs or anything happened to them. You know, you have that um, commodity for um, when people bring their dogs. And so when they come with their, their pup, what do you want their experience to be like? You know, I, I try to put myself in their shoes. I mean, I have I have four dogs of my own. And, um, you know, and, and, and my staff knows we use this mantra all the time. And it's about, uh, first of all, us taking care of the details that are going to give that parent that experience that they want. So what does that experience look like? Uh, first of all, I, I, I want them to, well, most of all, rather, I want them to go on that well-deserved vacation. Because, you know, you work an entire year to, to get on that vacation. And then you've got to leave a, you know, a place for, for Fluffy. you got to leave it as a family member. you got to leave them somewhere. And it kind of breaks your heart. The last thing you want is that entire time that you're on vacation is thinking about whether your dog is safe. Um, so what I, my most important, I guess, thing to accomplish from an, a, a client experience standpoint is for my clients to go on that well-deserved vacation and not have to worry about their pup. And the way I do that is by creating a safe environment, a healthy environment, an enriching environment uh, for all the dogs that come our way. That's awesome to have them uh, keep a top experience for when they feel like they can take a vacation because sometimes Absolutely. you're like worry about what's happening back at home and you're like I'm not taking a vacation you're always concerned about something else <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I remember how tough that was for me in the corporate world you know that vacation is a time to de-stress not to be to be yeah. stressed you know? right you know? like I should be there and then yeah. uh, <laughs> yes uh, totally and so I really appreciate um you ask you know answering these questions that kind of help clarify um, is there any other last questions you want to, um, you know, make sure everybody listening to this, if they're considering other options or what they're looking for to, you know, make sure that, th you know, you have a home for them and you have a heart to make sure they're, they're safe and happy and um, that you can take a well-deserved vacation that you need or whatever the situation is. Sometimes they are using, you know, medical or other needs too, and they need to be away. Um, to yep. take care. I'm sure there's other situations of communication that people need, <laughs> you know, can't bow well. Um, right, right, so. right. So yeah. I, tell, I, I tell parents all the time, you know, when you're considering that vacation, um, you know, because they've asked me, well, I've got a neighbor or a friend that can take care of the dog for me. And I tell them, you know, that's that's the number one and best option. If you've got that, take that option. That's a great option. Uh, if you don't have that, give us, give us a, a consideration, you know, um, we, we we try to keep everything as transparent as possible. We've got cameras everywhere on our in our building, uh, cameras that parents have access to via an app, and we try to keep everything very transparent. We encourage you to come visit our place anytime. There's no you don't have to make a schedule to 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 to, to take a tour. Come take it anytime so that you feel comfortable. Because I know what that's like. Uh, I have dogs of my own, so I, I get it. Oh yes, 
And I want to commemorate that you guys um, for also having a lot of resources available when people ask questions like that, whether it's training or health care for their dogs. Um, you guys know a lot of resources to help um, a lot of pets in that that aspect. So um, I know you guys didn't mention that, but I just know if they have a question, you kind of are really great resource people too. So um, if they need something for their pet, like this is a great person to, uh, to trust, of no, knowing absolutely. the community and, and really giving them the best experience, even if it's not keeping their pet for vacation. So <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. And we're happy to be a resource for anybody that needs any assistance related to anything related to, uh, yeah. to their dog. <laughs> That's right. Well, I really appreciate this interview and clarifying a lot of these questions. Um, it really gives a, a great overall feel for all of what you do and what you stand for and how you want to represent um, Camp Bowell to the top um, priorities out there and expectations for everybody to have a great experience. So thank you so much. It's my pleasure. Thank you, Alicia. Thank you. Thank you.